Okay, this cooking with Johnny G special edition. We're doing a smoke today. A couple days before Christmas, we're gonna smoke three pieces of prime rib. I've removed the bone, taken the bone off, but then tied it back on. In here, we got a mixture of some fresh rosemary and garlic, olive oil, a little balsamic vinegar and water. We're just gonna let that kind of cook a little bit and that'll be our basting solution. Got the fire working right now. Just wanna get them coals nice and hot, white hot, so we don't have any of the white smoke, which is not good for the flavor of your meat. Should only take three or four hours, I think. Uh, stay tuned. We got Jax with us here today, part of the team. What do you say, Jax? You excited about today? It's gonna be an exciting day, isn't it? Huh? Big smoke? We'll get to, you'll get to try this, definitely. Okay, fire's looking pretty hot. I'm not seeing a bunch of white smoke coming off the coals, so I think we're about ready. So I got a bunch of fresh rosemary here that once this gets going a little bit, I'm gonna to toss this on, hopefully infuse a little bit of that into the meat as well so as soon as these light up we'll close the lid and get started smoke's looking pretty clear coming out of the smokestack um, I mean it's got a little bit of white to it but it's a little chilly out too so some of that's condensation Today we're cooking on an Oklahoma Joe smoker. It actually works pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. We'll be back at you. Okay, we're almost up to temperature here. I'm looking for two, you know, 225 to 250, staying in that range. We got dual thermometers working here, so we get a more accurate. Uh, reading between the two and this is a off set smoker that means you got your smokestack over here you got your firebox here so the smoke travels through the firebox underneath and under there's pans in here so the smoke travels underneath the pans up at the end and then back over top out the smokestack uh, it's supposedly it should be more even cooking and smoking. Something I've noticed too, when I'm smoking, I start talking in more of a hillbillyish accent. Um, don't know why that is, but, uh, but you stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're getting, getting her done here. We have one of these little starter cans. You fill it up with your coals and get them started out here, and then you can dump them in hot. So you avoid losing that heat. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're just gonna baste these. You can see the meat, we still got you know, ways to go. You can see a nice, uh, nice smoke on the outside there. Now we did start with a rub on these. It's a, it's a version of my coffee rub. I just added, you know, basically some more onion and garlic to it, dried onion and garlic, um, and some rosemary. Uh, it's getting dark now, so I'm using a flashlight. But uh, we're close. We're at. Uh, Close to 100 on all of them. I mean, a little, a little closer on the right side here. And uh, I'm gonna say we probably got another half hour or at least. Just basted them for the last time. They look and smell delicious. Okay, all three ribs got up to about 120, 121. Okay, we're back the next day. So we pulled the ribs off the smoker, let them cool overnight, 
in the fridge. And now I'm slicing them up into steaks. And they're just beautiful. They're, they're medium rare right now. And these are the ribs. You know, I, I cleaned up, pulled the ribs off. And that's a whole separate deal. You can put those in the oven with some barbecue sauce. It'll be awesome. I'm going to freeze some of these and we're going to eat some tonight for dinner. Throw them on the grill to give them a nice little sear and reheat. And that'll bring them right to about medium. All right, so now we're going to reheat some of the steaks uh, that we smoked on the grill just to give them a nice sear and a reheat. Probably bring them up to about medium. This should not take long at all. Again, we're just going to brush a little bit of barbecue sauce on these. Just a little glaze on there. A little sweet and smoky. It'll be done in just a sec. Okay, that didn't take long at all. We probably a minute or two on a side. Brushed them with a little bit of barbecue. We don't want to overcook them. We're just really bringing them up to temp. We're just going to take a little sample in here. Delicious. Catch you next time.